Hey there, greetings and welcome to my channel on do-it-yourself home projects. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a flush mount ceiling light just like this. This particular project, uh, we put up some bunk beds in our kiddos' rooms and obviously we've got an issue with a ceiling fan there dropping down a little too low and providing some dangerous possibilities for my little one as that ceiling fan turns. So the option here was to get rid of the ceiling fan entirely, which I did in a separate video. So this is what we were left with after we took down the ceiling fan. I've already done that. I'm not going to do that in this particular video. Now here is the flush mount ceiling light that I'm going to be installing. I will pop a link down in the description below. If you don't have one of these, they come in a set of two. You can see there, I'm only going to be using one in this video. Um, and maybe you already have your specific flush mount ceiling light that maybe is a little different from this one. So if that's true, bear with me. There will be some minor differences, I'm sure. Um, but here is what I have and what I'm working with. So the first step, I'm going to lay everything out that basically came with the ceiling light. So that includes all the hardware. It's got a couple of different sets of screws that are different size, a mounting bracket right there, and a lot of other little odds and ends. So I'm going to unscrew everything, keep things kind of bundled together where they were so I don't lose them, and just kind of study them for a minute, if you will. Now, since we're dealing with electricity, I am not a licensed electrician, but I know for a fact that you need to turn off that breaker and keep those light switches turned off. You can inst uh, use a voltage meter should you so choose, uh, but I'm not going to be doing that in this video or showing you how to do that, uh, but definitely make sure that power is off. You don't want to get shocked or electrocuted. Now the provided screws here were a little uh, oddly sized, I will say. Um, so I had to switch those out with a little bit thicker screws in order to get that little bracket in there correctly. So that's the first step is to take that little horizontal metal bracket there and to put those up as shown, as you can see in the video, and get those nice and snug. You want that to be firm. That's going to be your main anchor point. So if that's wiggly, your light fixture may be wiggly as well. Next up, we'll take the longer screws and we're going to insert them, not all the way, but just a little bit here, enough to get a really good bite. You'll see what those are for in just a minute. Next up, we're going to take our flush mount ceiling light and go ahead and kick the ends of those wires right off. We're going to basically get these ready for wiring. Now you'll have your ground wire, your hot and your neutral, of course and they're gonna be lining up. The instructions will guide you through the process so you can read those instructions really well. I'm not sure what color lights or wires you have coming out of your ceiling, so I'm not gonna tell you this color goes with this color, but read your instructions really well and hopefully you can figure that out yourself. Now you can see the ground wire here. I actually made a little loop and I have it going into the green grounding screw, okay? Make sure that stays secure. Use a manual screwdriver. I recommend that over a drill. And next up, we're gonna take these little wing nut things here and uh, connect them and secure the w correct wires to the correct wires. In my case, it was the black wire connected to the black wire and then the white connected to the white. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy in my situation. Uh, of course, hire an electri a, a qualified electrician if you're not sure. Now, this particular one came with a little yellow pad of insulation and I didn't want that. It didn't fit actually, so I got rid of it. I just It just kind of peels right off. Maybe you need to keep that insulation with your particular setup. The next step is pretty simple. We're going to take those, take the unit here and slide it up into those screws that we had installed earlier. Remember those longer two screws? And we'll just slide them up into the little holes and then twist the light on. We'll take our screwdriver and our screw uh, our, our drill first and then our screwdriver to finish it up and we'll tighten those all the way down and at this point your ceiling uh, light should be flush with the ceiling you can see right there there's no gap so it pulled up nice and tight to the ceiling next up we'll take the little stem here threaded stem and it's got a washer and a nut on there and we're going to keep the washer and the nut on there now this is a little bit of guesswork here. How much, how do you, how much do you put up in there? How do you, how much do you screw that stem into the light fixture? So I'll get to that in just a second. We'll go ahead and put the uh, light bulbs in at this point, and I'll put a link down below for the my recommended light bulbs. They are LED, and they last a really long time. Love those things. Anyway, 
back to it. We'll take the glass bowl now. Now, if the stem is not long enough, or if it's too long, you're gonna have to take the glass bowl off and then adjust the stem like that. Make sure that nut and the washer is all the way tight. You don't want that wobbly. And you'll need about that much space left on the stem after the bowl is put over it. Put that little wing nut thing there. It's not a wing nut, it's a little, little nut. It's threaded as well. So that actually secures the glass bowl to the light. And get that nice and tight, but of course, don't over tighten it. Next, you'll take your final little piece here that screws on the end and make sure that goes all the way on for a nice polished finished look. And that is pretty much it. We've got to turn on the power, of course. So we'll go back down to the breaker box and we'll turn that power back on. And the moment of truth, does it work? It sure does. There it is, everybody. Pretty simple do-it-yourself job. Obviously, that extra switch will not work. I don't have a ceiling fan that controlled the ceiling fan versus the light, so that's non-applicable in this situation. So we are good to go. Hopefully, this video has been helpful. If you are interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.